Are you having an exercise treadmill test? Did you know that the exercise treadmill test is actually one of the most prescribed tests in the world to detect coronary artery disease risk? My name is Diamond Fernandez and I'm your founder and director of the HeartFit Clinic. I'm also your author of the book, Beating Heart Disease. Make sure you get your free copy today. But anyway, uh, I'm gonna take a few minutes really to discuss the pros and cons of the stress test. First, the good thing. Um, exercise is medicine and it's always nice to know that you can exercise somewhat safely and effectively with the test. And so um, the exercise stress test is a, a nice non-invasive test to determine the presence of coronary artery disease. Now, it looks at ECG changes from rest to when you're exercising while we're stressing the heart and see if the heart is ischemic, which means it's, is it um, lacking oxygen or lacking blood flow. And the idea is, the, is really to see if you're having any symptoms or the symptoms that you've been feeling is it being presented while exercising. So that's the good thing. Now, the bad. Um, it's not always the case. And number one, I'm gonna talk about in, in, in point form. So number one, it does not determine your risk of a heart attack or, or stroke. Um, it only looks for blockages. Now, let me quickly by saying this, is that the majority of heart attacks and strokes, they actually occur with blockages that are not even, uh, they're too small that it even be, would be picked up by a stress test, or for that matter, an angiogram for that matter. So the majority of heart attacks and strokes occur with blockages that are less than 70%. So, Many people think, okay, well, that's kind of funny. How does that happen? What's going on? And really, artery blockages are, imagine like a pimple on your face. Everyone's had that pimple on their face and everyone's had that pimple where it, it, it's uh, popped open and bled and leaked, you know. Well, imagine that pimple being inside your arteries of your heart. And so the arteries that are, that are like a pimple, it's being held, like the plaque is being held by like a pimple. And if the skin holding that pimple inside the artery breaks off, that's a heart attack. It can go from a, a 30% blockage to a, a big blockage very quickly. And so, um, and when that happens, of course, that's not good. And so a stress test does not determine your risk of a heart attack or stroke. Another thing is the accuracy of the test. Um, you can Google or look up specificity and sensitivity of the test. It basically means that how often do we catch people that have a problem that we should be catching the problem. And it's about 68%. So it can miss people that have heart disease. And, and it also can miss those people that have uh, microvascular disease, small vessel disease, or even a blockage that's what we call distal into the artery wall. And so, you know, it, it's, it, it can miss people. That's all there is. And so you can get this clean bill of health yet still be on this path of a heart attack or stroke. And so number three, I think we're still following an archaic model when looking at this and uh, when we're looking for cardiovascular disease risk. And so many people think that cholesterol just encroaches into the lumen. The lumen's where the blood flows and it gets a little bit smaller and smaller and smaller and, and gets limited blood flow. So we get what we call ischemia, which is lack of blood flow. And then we get angina and angina is pains in the chest or jaw or back or shoulders or indigestion type of feeling you know, something that's not normal to uh, present uh, abnormality inside the heart. And so we get this angina when the, uh, the cholesterol encroaches in the lumen too small, and then it closes completely, and then we have a heart attack. And that, um, it happens very rarely. And so th the point is, is that I don't like the problem that happens from a, a stress test is, is I, don't, I don't like the options that come from a stress test. And so number one, Either you're gonna be given a clean bill of health when you can still be on the path of a heart attack or stroke, or number two, you could be uh, going on for further diagnostic testing, which can involve a lot more radiation and radioactive dyes, or even more invasive, uh, like an angiogram. And you don't necessarily need to go down that route all the time, and so that's looking for stable coronary artery disease. You can look at a video that I talk about on stable coronary artery disease. Um, but yeah, that's, that's the stress test. A great test for looking for advanced stages of disease, but more importantly, what you do after that, that's what HeartFit Clinic focuses on that way. Um, so yeah, that's uh, the stress test. If you have any further questions, comments, or any observations, I welcome them as always. And we look forward to helping you live happier, healthier, and longer.